students at Brownsville High School started the day in a soft lockdown. Outside doors and classrooms were locked. It comes after a student made a threat against the school, but police say it was not credible. All of this on the same day the district was gift, uh, given a little added protection. John Shumway explains. The scare at Uniontown High School in late January was a wake-up call to nearby Brownsville School District when they heard the words of the student suspect. He indicated that it would be extremely easy to sneak a gun into the school in his backpack. Brownsville immediately wanted to install metal detectors but didn't have the money until today when the owner of 84 Lumber and Nemecol and Woodlands, Maggie Hardy McGurko, reached into her own checkbook to cover the cost. They'll be installed in the middle of the high schools. It's a move they made in the Butler area schools a couple of years ago. Each of our schools, there is a school police officer generally stationed at the entranceway of the building, and uh, visitors uh, have to go through a metal detector to gain access to the school. While many schools have already gone to metal detectors, the scenes from Parkland, Florida, are prompting even more to consider it. But... It's an economic challenge. Security measures are expensive. If you're getting into physical security measures, they can be very expensive, and you know school budgets are already stretched thin as they are. On KDKA Radio this morning, Governor Tom Wolf told Larry Richard and me that it may be time for the state to intervene in the interest of student safety. I think the state and my administration would be very eager to to. Uh, play a, a role in that. But additional security comes with costs that can't be counted in dollars. More on that coming up new at 6. Chumway, KDKA TV News.